if I'm being completely honest, when I see this, this, and more of this, I'm frustrated. I'm rolling my eyes. I'm thinking to myself, why? Why would you do this? Well, to get a better perspective on that, I went to Dr. Nanette Funderburg, a psychotherapist, and asked her about panic buying. And there's actually been research already done on this, empirical research that's out there where experiments have been done to say, you know, when there's this crisis or even the perception of a crisis, and we think that there will be a scarcity of products, that anxiety just, just rockets up. I don't want to speak for everyone, but 2020 has been a year. Tough for many of us. Dr. Funderburg says while these empty shelves can be disheartening to see, especially if you need these supplies, it's really a reaction to a lack of control. If the thought is I might be sick or a loved one might be sick and we don't, we might not have what we need, that's really not going to be good. So let me go, let me go, let me go and, and get whatever it is that I think I may need. That makes us feel just a little bit more in control of the situation again. Dr. Funderburg believes there's a social aspect as well. Seeing an almost empty shelf might make you think you must need it too. Chains like Harris Teeter are ahead of the game the second time around, stocking up resources and putting restrictions on certain items so as not to run out. While you might not be the panicking type, Dr. Funderburg says maybe it's time to extend just a little empathy as opposed to an eye roll. It's just a difficult time right now and stress levels are high. So the more that we can put empathy, kindness and consideration of others, always consider that other person, um, the more we can put that out there, I think the better the world will be. Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.